At the very top of the programming journey, we have our lovely Ottibot. He is a sophisticated humanoid robot that is absolutely jam-packed full of advanced features like the camera on the top of his head here. Um, the camera can be used to read QR codes, it can be used for machine learning to learn face data, and it can also be used to live stream, none of which at the moment are a requirement of any global computing curricula, but he's been built for the future. So this is something that we expect to see in the future on those curriculums. He also has a speaker and two microphones and some lovely capacitive touch sensors that the children can program. So when you interact physically with the robot, he can be programmed to do different things. To support Ottibot as a social robot in the classroom, he has a wide range of emotions that the children can relate to. So, for example, he can be surprised, or he can change his temperature and he can be cold. He has 12 different emotions that the children can use as part of their programming. Ottibot is jam-packed full of advanced sensors for the children to use in their programming. Underneath, we can see that he has a line follow sensor, so Otti can follow a black line. He has a colour sensor, so he's capable of reading the colour that he's over the top of, and he can be programmed to output accordingly. He has a motorised pen holder, so he can draw, but in addition, he can also retract and lower his pen in the programming. And he has caterpillar tracks, so that he can be programmed to move. We appreciate that Ottibot is a significant investment to a school and therefore we want to make him as future-proof as possible to protect that investment. His firmware can be updated so we can provide software to the end user and they can easily upgrade the robot to allow him to access new features or enhance features as curriculum need changes. Additionally, we can also upgrade very easily the hardware. So here you can see these two Otties are already wearing new tummies and I'm going to replace the tummy on this Otty here. So it's very easy to clip a tummy off. The child can do it themselves. They don't need the teacher's support in doing so. And once his tummy has been removed, he will make a noise because he doesn't like being naked. So here you can see that we don't have a tummy on the robot. We do advise that you don't store your robots this way and that you're always wearing a tummy on the robot itself just to protect the electrics. But here you can see there are some electrical pins. They're perfectly safe for the child. There's no issue there with any current um, flowing through them. But I'm gonna pop this new tummy on. So super easy, it clips on nice and easy. And then once you add a new tummy to the robot, if it's a motorized tummy, like my forklift is here, and I'll just demonstrate that to you. What will happen in the app is automatically the functions that you need to control the new motorized tummy will appear automatically in the app. So you'll have access to new programming blocks and you'll have access to a new control panel to control those features. And in doing so, what we are able to do then here is replicate real life applications of social robotics whether that's delivering food to a table or medicines to a patient in hospital or working in logistics and warehouse. We can really start to contextualize the use of Ottibot in a real world scenario. Unlike the other robots in the programming journey, the connection to Otti is slightly different. All of our other robots use the tablet app to connect via Bluetooth and the connection to Otti is via wireless AP. This doesn't really make any difference to the customer. You still open the app and connect um, through the app but what it means is the wireless bandwidth allows for more data to be transferred between the robot and the tablet. And that means that you can use all of the wonderful live stream features with the video content that Otti can generate. Additionally, because Otti has a camera embedded within the robot itself, we want to ensure the safety of the children in our classrooms. And therefore, we've changed the connection method slightly through the app. You can see here that Otti has got a QR code displayed on his face. If you had lots of Otties in your classroom, they'd all have a slightly different QR code on their face. Everyone is unique. And what that means is that you have to be in the physical presence of the robot to pair the app through the camera to the robot to connect to that robot. It's not something that can be done from a remote location. You have to be in the classroom to connect to the robot and then access its camera features. Every hour, Otty will disconnect as an additional safety feature. We understand that most lessons are an hour in length, and what that means is that after an hour, a new QR code will be generated and that you have to reconnect to the robot through the tablet. That means that if you have a visiting member of staff or perhaps you're doing a parents open evening, it just continues to ensure the safety of the camera on Otty whilst he's in the presence of children.